Um, just a little short update. What I've been up to. Um, been working quite a bit, and uh, my wife got a new job, so I have to do a little bit more around the house. Not really, but yeah. Because um, yeah, she'll probably watch this. Um, so yeah, I've been. I don't know, playing a couple games online, so yeah, I've been doing that more than, than building. Just taking a little bit of a break, I guess. Um, anyways, I got uh, this compressor uh, a couple days ago. Um, it's kind of like an early Christmas present, I guess, from, from my parents. Uh, so. I got it all put together, got the, really the only thing I'm going to do is put the uh, regulator on. Let me move this so you can see what the heck I'm doing. The regulator on. Uh, little, they, they give you thread, uh, uh, it was a Teflon tape, um, but I had some, some better stuff sitting around. Well, what I think is better stuff is this, uh, I guess it's called Blue Monster. So it's like a thicker version. It's kind of not really sticky. I don't know. I like it though. Um, so I put that on. And as you can see, it's kind of like at an angle. I can tighten it up further, but you know, you kind of want this moisture trap, you know, angled down, um, so that way it'll actually uh, drain down in here and not run up into your diaphragm. So yeah, I mean, I've used it a little bit today, um, and man, I'm surprised how, how much quieter it is than my old one. My old one's, uh, you can see, maybe a little bit wider, but shorter, about, probably about as tall as this tank. Um, but yeah, I think it's rated about 85 decibels, and I, I think that's pretty darn accurate, because I mean, it's, it's so loud, i got to put it in the, the room behind me, and close the door and run a long hose out here and you know after about 20 minutes it gets so hot that it just shuts off uh, it's got a little thermal protection so um, but this one especially what we have in the tank you know it'll run for you know, 45 seconds or so um, uh, I, I painted a little bit earlier today I did uh, Did some paint on this uh, AVGP uh, Cougar, um, just a little brown around like the wheel well areas to simulate some mud, which I'll go back and do, you know, some pigments and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, so th got this. Um, this is my uh, Badger airbrush, the uh, 155 Anthem. Now I had to get a. adapter because actually this compressor came with this nice uh, braided hose um, but I had to get an adapter because it's eighth inch BSP thread um, both ends so originally I was going to change the fitting on this regulator but it's like epoxied in there so unless I break yeah I mean, I'd end up breaking it before we come out um, so went over to my local hobby shop and got this little adapter for like two bucks. So, <clears throat> so that works well. But yeah, I mean, it's so quiet. You know, it only runs, once once the tank's pretty full, it only runs for, you know, if you're constantly airbrushing. And, and I run, you know, depending on what I'm spraying, I'll run probably about, I don't know, 30 PSI or so. It's probably kind of high. Um, but yeah, I mean, 20 minutes of airbrushing and it probably turned on maybe two, three times, if that. And when it does turn on, I mean, it's, my wife was in the living room and I could still carry a conversation with her pretty easily. Um, so that's, that's really nice. I'm sure she enjoys that. Um, let's see, that's enough of that. Um, actually, shoot, what the heck, I'll turn it on so you guys can hear it. Hopefully she won't complain because <laughs> it is pretty late.
leaves his on, it turns on, I don't know how often, every now and then. Um, so I just check to see, you know, how many little tiny leaks there are. Um, and I think I had it, uh, it's about an hour before actually, I think the compressor cycled on for about 15 seconds. So, yep. And the gauge is reading just under 40 psi, but I've noticed that when I hit my air on the brush, it goes to about 30. So, and it's wide open right now. So, I don't know, you get. probably do is um I don't know if this will work or not I'll have to try. But um you know turn this regulator way up. Well no that wouldn't work because the shutoff for this is at what fifty seven PSI. Um so it'll fill the tank to fifty seven PSI so but yeah I mean it's nice it's super quiet. Um I actually had a video of me uh um, airbrushing with my other airbrush and uh, I actually had to mute all the audio just because it was it was so loud I mean it would have drove people insane so and it does have a little pressure release which I don't know I don't know if it'd be better to leave the air in it or after each use, empty it. I haven't really decided on that one, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, now we'll get to what I've been working on lately. I'm trying to hide this cord, because I do have three cats in the house, and from time to time they like to find things and say, ooh, this looks like fun. So, here's the uh, AVGP so far. I'll take that off or drop it. Um, so today I just did a little bit of brown in here. I guess, I guess you'd call that post shading. I don't know. So, kind of slowed down on building the models. Uh, get into something for a while and go 100% at it, you know, all the time, and then I'll take a break for a while and do something else, come back to it, um, oh, put this aside, uh, got, well, this thing's almost done, this, the Panzer II, I'm going to just like see y'all can see, but, oops, the camera's falling all around. And the zip tie is in the way now. So, actually, bear with me. Move this camera down so you get a better view. So, a lot of the weather done. A couple little spots I gotta touch up. I mean, it might be a little thick, but um, the diorama I'm going to build for it's going to be, I think will suit it. <laughs> so. A little soot around the uh, grills back there. And I think I'm going to go in around some of these uh, road wheels and add like some oil streaking from where like the bearing grease would be leaking out. But, so, it's looking pretty good. Our commander here is looking pretty spiffy. And 
he does have a mustache, and I don't know if I'm going to go back in and maybe darken it up a little bit more. Or just leave it. So he's pretty much he's pretty much done. Um, as is this guy here. Oh, well, the lighting in here is good for me, but on camera it looks terrible. And I'm trying to look on my screen. So he's about done. Put two decals on his helmet. SS decals. So he's pretty much done. Um, here's some of these figures I might put in with this diorama. Um, I just picked this little kit up today. Um, obviously, doesn't quite fit too well um, on his uh, overcoat, or whatever you call that, great coat maybe. Um, here's the box for it. And at the time, I mean, I just was trying to either build this kit or my uh, Panzer IV in the background there um, in a Kharkov uh, s setting. And I seen this kit and just snatched it real quick. And later I looked at it and I thought it was four German soldiers at first. <laughs> Which I don't know why. Maybe I just saw the, the side of it or something. But, um, so it's two... German to Russian. So I guess that means I need to build something Russian. So, so that's that. Um, I started the base for the diorama. Um, it's drying right now. Um, but you guys will see that when it's all done. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the updates I got going on. Um, and sorry the, the camera work isn't the best. Uh, I kind of need to find a better way to do this, either like a tripod or something beside me looking over the shoulder or what, but so I got this giant computer over here. <laughs> so, it takes up a ton of room. So, anyways guys, you all um, take care, and we'll talk to you all soon, and thank you for watching.